My name is Kevin Martin. I'm here with Jennifer Phillips Russo. We are bringing you the weekly update from the Lake Erie Regional Grape Program. We wanted to remind you about Spotted Lanternfly because this week is National Invasive Species Awareness Week. Uh, so I wanted to talk to Jen about what she saw last year in Southeast Pennsylvania. Yeah, thanks Kevin. So I went down to Southeast Pennsylvania to meet with Penn State Extension personnel, Heather Leach, and to see about actually what's going on down there firsthand to kind of see this bug and is it as devastating as we keep hearing about and I brought home some video for you to watch which you'll be seeing behind us to say yes it kind of is should and if it gets up here yeah so I think what we've seen in or what you saw in Southeast PA is we have uh, a little bit of vinifera acreage down there um, those the, the vineyards down there are, are relatively well spread out and it seems like the spotted lanternfly do prefer them as one of their hosts. Um, so, so what that means when it gets to a concentrated area that we have up here in, in our region, it, I think it will be, um, it will be challenging to, to manage that population, especially from an economic and a management perspective. Um, like when, when were you down there? Uh, when were they, what were they doing? So I was down there the last week of September and the first week of October, spanning both of those months. And it was supposed to be the end of when they were really going to be active in the vineyards. And really two weeks prior, I should have went down there, but I was able to personally still count over 70, 70 bugs on one particular vine. And this was all and almost every vine down that row. Apparently, from what I had gleaned from our, my conversations, was that there were 400 of these bugs on each one of these vines previous. So the impact of what could potentially happen up here is a little bit crazy. And I don't know, we'll put this map up for you as well, but the quarantine zone is here in blue and they are growing. The yellow states are where we have found specimens of the spotted lantern fly. So it is growing and it is actually Erie County, New York is one of them. So was I believe Yates and Monroe County. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so we haven't seen any populations in any of those counties yet, but because we see the quarantine zone expanding and the viable populations expanding, and we also see dead and alive spotted lantern flies popping up here and there in New York counties, it does, it is starting to seem inevitable uh, that eventually will have a spotted lanternfly issue to deal with. It, I guess it's probably anybody's guess exactly what year that will be. Right. But, you know, I think my primary concern is we're, we're pretty good at managing insects and diseases, and we're probably a little bit better than the fledgling wine industries because we've been doing it for um, 60 or 80 years fairly effectively. Uh, but this is an insect that uh, while I think our growers will be will be experienced in terms of being able to learn about it, it's not going to fit into the disease and insect management strategy that you have. Like, like you said, um, you were down there in October, so chances are this is going to be either close to harvest or overlapping with harvest when you have to apply these insecticides, which which is obviously going to be a problem because we're accustomed to uh, often. Um, putting the sprayer away in early or late August. Well, and the problem isn't that we can't kill these bugs with insecticides. They die. The problem is is that the masses of them that are located in the tree lines and that are just flying in the day after you sprayed and then are right back on the plant. That's what I've heard the struggle is down there in southeast Pennsylvania is that you have to spray every other day just to keep this bug under control during a six-week period in, I think if she said August through September. So that's where we're going to have to learn from what they're doing. And without Tim, who was our basically Tim Weigel, who was the New York State Grape IPM specialist before he retired, he had his finger on the pulse and he was the lead guy on the spotted lantern fly and in the grape industry. And we no longer have that. So I would like you to come to the Growers Conference, actually, and listen. We have two speakers on Spotted Lantern Fly to learn a little bit more about that on March 19th and then possibly make some connections and ask some questions and learn more about this bug. Thanks for joining us this week. I think that's all we have for now. But again, please feel free to comment down below. We'd be happy to address 
uh, any questions related to spotted lanternfly or anything else related to grapes in our region. Um, if you want to contact us another way uh, to get your own questions answered, please feel free to contact us and we will see you again next week. Thank you. Yeah, have a great week.